I just want to first start off by apologizing if this video is a bit more feisty than usual, but honestly, you would be too if you were currently waiting by your phone waiting to hear from your perpetrator's insurance agency. Everything is still very fresh and raw for me because it all actually just went down yesterday, but the title says it all. The title is down there, not there, okay? So it was my mother's birthday, and being the wonderful child that I am, I decided I was gonna bake her a cake. So I jumped in my car, went off to Target, and was like, yo, Duncan Hines, here I come. Even though actually I decided on Pillsbury, but okay. So I buy what I need to at Target, get back in my car, and I'm gonna race home, bake mom a cake, and it's gonna be the best day ever. <laughs> <laughs> I pull out of my parking spot and I'm pulling out of Target and then I get to this three-way stop sign type thing where it's me, a car on my left, a car on my right, and then directly in front of me is just a row of cars because we're kind of slow in the parking lot, you know what I mean? So we're all kind of just sitting there because none of us can go. There is not enough space. If I turn left, I'll smack into the car. There's just not enough room if I, I'm not going right. Why would I go right? <laughs> and the other cars couldn't go either because same deal. So we're all kind of just sitting there staring at each other and waiting for someone to make a move. And when I look over to my right and the car on my right, he's going to be labeled evil car who deserves to... F uh -huh is yelling at me and he's just like screaming and cursing and yelling and I can't obviously hear what he's saying but I'm just like oh my gosh calm down I debated long and hard whether or not I wanted to insert a picture of him because yes I know what he looks like I have his social obviously I know what he looks like but I have his social media because I did get his name but I'm not gonna insert it because that's probably wrong but mostly just because of legal reasons I'm not even gonna try to act like I'm being like morally correct like no I hate him but yeah on his social media he looks like freaking Ariel with his hair all long and like flowing in the wind like so hippie like honestly you you're not cool but in the situation his hair was tied in a bun I think he's wearing like a do-rag or something I don't know something some sort of headband something like marking that he's like so cool like wow look at me going to Target where okay I'm sorry I'm sorry you see I'm getting feisty I'm not trying to anyways we're like a wife beater and he's screaming at me but I'm just like what do you want me to do so then the car on my left who is a nice man about my dad's age is like backing up for me to go because it's obvious I can't go anywhere okay Whoa. Well, what do you want me to do? No, there's, there's, there's yeah, I can't do any. Uh. So he's backing up. So I start making my move to go left. Going, going, going. Can't go anymore because I'll hit him. So he starts backing up more. I'm going, going, going. And then I stop. And I'm waiting for this guy just to back up a whole bunch because there's literally nothing I can do. I'm like, oh, this is annoying. This is, oh, everyone's so dumb. Because everyone, honestly, I was not wrong in the situation. Like, there was nothing I could do. Sorry. Oh, but it should be noted that as I'm driving around, I'm giving this guy the hand, you know, kind of like this, like... <laughs> <laughs> I'm going like I hate you um that's really embarrassing but I feel like I need to tell the whole truth nothing but the truth you know these little things that I do on my daily basis that no one would ever find out about but that's the type of person I'm sassy what can I say and all of a sudden out of freaking nowhere out of left field I'm sorry the guy on the right, the thug, the freak, the I can't think of another PG word to describe him because Mm. rams into the back of my car like rams and I I'm not trying to make accusations or anything but I'm just telling you guys because you guys are like my best friends kind of like I would I didn't tell this to the police or anything but I am like so freaking certain that he did this on purpose I know that sounds crazy but you have to understand people get road rage and they just act it came out of nowhere there's no reason for him to ram in the back of my car like it wasn't like he was like trying to go around me or like it was like into the back of my car and as soon as I feel this I've never been hit before I'm just like what just happened and I'm just like oh my god oh my god oh my god but then I'm like you know what all right we're both gonna have to pull over exchange information and then I see him go in reverse really quickly and glide off speeding around the bend to like get away thinking I'll never catch him but in my first instinct I'm like he's not getting away so I put my car in reverse, reverse back a bit, and then speed around the bend to try to catch him. But then I'm like, what am I gonna do? Like play bumper cars? How am I ever gonna catch him? All these thoughts are going through my head, but I'm still speeding after him. And at this point, I'm like, get his license plate. So obviously I'm not gonna say his real plate, but for the purpose of this video, I'll just make up one. So I see it and I'm like, HGY5506. Okay, perfect, it's in my head, it's locked. And I'm speeding after him. And then I kind of come to like a little stop because I'm like, Clancy, are you just gonna chase him like all around like the world? Like what, where, what are we doing here, pal? And then out of nowhere, this guy in an SUV glides past me and is like, you stay there I got him I got him I got him and like he's like riding off into the distance as well and I'm like what where did this guy come out of a completely different guy who I had never even seen before and so I'm just like what what just happened and then the original guy was involved in it like the guy was backing up for me you know the guy on my left drives like toward me and pulls down his window and is like you just got hit and I'm sitting there 
and I go to say something and literally this is me. Uh <laughs> if there's one thing you need to know about me, it's that I do not cry. I'm not a crier. Like, I, I just not who I am. It's just like no, nothing wrong with crying, but it's just not me. I just start crying. So I don't even say anything to this guy and I roll my window up and just like speed away into another parking spot to evaluate my life and what the heck is happening. I'm literally just staring at my steering wheel for a good three minutes like holy mother of pearl where did these people drive off to? There's a guy randomly chasing my guy. I don't know what to do. And then I see the original SUV. The guy was like I got him speeding around the bend chasing the car and he rolls his window down. He's like a good like 20 feet away from me. Like we're not in talking distance but he's screaming I got him! I got him! Don't you worry I got him! Stay there! And I when he did that, I'm just like, that just made me like cry more. I'm just like, what is happening? Then a police officer puts on his lights and starts chasing after my guy, the SUV guy. So I'm like, is my guy getting in trouble? Like, what the heck? Like, oh. So I would love to say that, you know, I whipped up my phone, called the police. But no, I didn't call the police. I called my mommy. Hi, mom. I'm at Target. Oh, cool. Like, what are you getting from Target? And I'm just like, uh. Because I told her I went to the bookstore because I didn't want her to know I was getting the cake stuff. But I'm just like, actually, and I explained the situation, and then she's immediately like, call 911. So I called 911, and I'm like, okay, I was so flustered. This is what I said. Hi, I'd like to report an accident report. That made no sense because you don't report an accident report. I meant to say I meant to report an accident. Whatever. I was not thinking. You know, they asked me, like, describe it, whatever, all this stuff, and they said they would send someone. So I'm like, cool. At this point, my phone is at less than 20% battery, which was the worst. At this point, I get out, evaluate the situation. My, like, back, the back side of my car is all cracked. Obviously, he rammed into it. I'm gonna have to get the entire back section of my car replaced. And then an hour goes by, and I'm like, no one is here. And it's so easy to just be saying, like, then an hour goes by, but, like, in this situation, to sit in your car staring into space for an hour, it's kind of a long time, especially when like this whole huge thing just happened, a car chase is going on. And it is so weird to call 911, like the big emergency responding thing back and be like, so did you get my call? Like you coming? That's not what you say to 911. That's what you say like your friend, like you coming or nah, but like to 911 to be like you coming or nah, that's weird. I tried to be all polite though. I'm like, I, I was just wondering if someone's gonna come, you know? And then they were like, oh yeah, well yeah, we'll send someone, whatever. Still waiting, you know, two hours pass, and I'm like, this is getting ridiculous. I'm literally sitting in a parking lot, staring into space, just waiting for a police officer to come for two hours. Okay, so I'm like, mom, they are not coming. And so she ended up calling them, and basically what happened was they ended up receiving a call about this accident from someone else, the SUV guy, so they thought that like they came and everything was all jolly in this world, but that's not what happened. No one came, nothing was jolly. So I'm literally just waiting there. I'm like crying a bit, laughing, cause like it wasn't like a literal cry. It was like, as I'm crying, I'm like, why are you crying? And then I'm like repeating the license plate cause I don't want to forget it. This little thug is not getting away with anything. So I'm literally sitting there like, HGYY5506, HGY5506, HGY. It's not a good look. And so the police officer comes, I'm thinking I'm about to be a hero. Like I memorized that license plate, go me, oh my gosh. And the police officer's like, oh, were you the one who got into that accident? And I'm like, yeah, yeah, it was a hit and run. And I got his license plate though. And he's like, oh, we caught him hours ago. And I'm just like, are you kidding me? Turns out, turns out, turns out, turns out. That was weird. The guy in the SUV who went off to chase the guy was actually an undercover cop. And they proceeded to go on a car chase all around, all around town. I can't really say the names of the streets because obviously I don't want you guys to know like my exact location. But yeah, so they went on like a literal car chase, eventually caught the guy, and the police officer proceeds to tell me like, yeah, I wrote him four tickets. I could have written him eight, but you know, I decided, you know, he's gonna be paying a lot anyway. On the outside, I'm like, oh, awesome. On the inside, I'm like, why didn't you write him 20? Ugh! Then the guy's like, was there damage to your car? Because like, we saw a car that looked just like yours. So we thought it was your car and there was no damage. And we figured you just went into the store to shop since there was no damage but I'm like oh yes there was and he's like oh my god wow if I would have known there was damage we could have arrested him and I'm just like because I want this guy locked up behind bars in his cell for the rest of his I, I'm, okay I'm I'm th the wound is still fresh so I'm saying things I probably don't mean but I'm pretty freaking mad at this freaking mm. but yeah the police officer is like apologizing since I've been waiting there for hours I'm not really sure how much the damage is gonna cost to my car probably a lot considering I have to replace the entire back side of it but I'm hoping his insurance agency can pay in case you're wondering he uses Geico and the weirdest thing I think we have the same birthday I don't know if the police officer made a mistake but on the little accident report September 10th 1995 so I don't know are we like soul sisters I, weird but yeah so that's where my current life's at it sucks
I don't know what this was. It sucks. I meant to do like, I don't, thumbs down. I don't know. But if this is the first time you're seeing one of my videos, it would mean so much to me if you hit the subscribe button. Because there's definitely more where this came from. Because my life is just like off the rails. If this is like a train track, you know, my life is over there. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. But yeah, so I'm going to go. But I will talk to you guys later. Bye.